to 125 pounds. Vic Bernardino, the senior out of Paulsboro at 32 and 2. Tom Walsh, the senior out of Paul VI in Haddonfield. A mark of 20 and 2. Walsh has been here before, fourth last year. And it's Walsh looking for the two, but not that time. They go out of bounds. Bernardino, by the way, one of the many who came in unseated and surprised not only the seating committees but his fellow wrestlers by ending up here in the finals. We have individuals that have come in from that third place in the region and now find themselves fighting for the state championship and it's one of the reasons certainly as Walsh gets the first two, it's one of the reasons that we've allowed those second and third place wrestlers to follow along. Walsh in front of Bernardino 2-0. We're at a minute 10 to go in this first period. A very fast escape to make it at 2-1 score. They stay in bounds just inside the circle. A beige Camaro, licensed CUV 87D. You are now. We're up to the 125 pound finals here at the 89 New Jersey State High School Wrestling Championships from Princeton University's Jadwin Gym. Mitch Gross and Jerry Saxel here on New Jersey Network. Tom Waltz attempting to circle behind, prying on that leg looking to try to capture a second state championship for his school. Stalemate, <laughs> called by the referee. Bernadicho Bernadino reaching, but not with not with confidence, not with good balance. Just trying to make something happen as we come down to the end of this first period. <laughs> and after one period, Tom Walsh of Paul the Sixth in Haddonfield leads Vic Bernardino of Paulsboro by a score of two to one. In New Jersey, you could put Paulsboro on a list with Del Val and Phillipsburg and, and who else? I don't Central. You're talking about a very small group one school that year in and year out, whether the coaches change or not, does a superior job with their wrestlers and with their team. A community that has involved itself in the lives of the young men in that town of Paulsboro. No change of control. Still red, but a change of control soon. Two-point reversal for Walsh to make the score 4-1. 90 seconds to go in the second period. So now Walsh with a little extra confidence and a little extra points. It makes the difference. 2-1. You wrestle differently than when the score is now 4-1. He can take some chances to put his opponent on his back. Bernardino grabs that leg, tries to make something happen, tries to pull some kind of reversal as we're down to a minute to go in the second. And there goes the one with the escape to make it four to two. Almost given by Walsh. Mitch, he didn't fight that move. It was almost like he felt confident if he had gotten to his feet. And let's see what happens now as he shoots his take that. Now earlier we mentioned skill and luck and strength, but a lot of it's it's a mental game, too. And it's staying mentally alert for that full time. Not able to relax for one second out there against the caliber of competition that now faces you. During the year, you can relax and you can come back from it. Not here in the finals of the States. Pressure on the head by Walsh. Now crowds his man, crowds him almost to his back. Now scoots behind, tries to get the easy two. Very close to having control. Bernardino hanging on by a leg. Managing to keep that left arm up, stopping Walsh from circling. And out of bounds. All right, Bernardino's ready. One second to go here in the second. And Walsh with a 4-2 lead as we go into the third period. Most unusual, 5-3, 4-2, 6-4, just two points separating the wrestlers 
in our first championships, and again we find a two-point spread. Bernardino picks up the escape point, four to three, and it's getting interesting now. And did it again easily. Walsh not fighting him. Feeling confident on top, but with someone like Bernardino with that Paul's Borough background, he can be dangerous at any time, and he can pick up the two on the feet. Bernardino that has to go to Walsh. He's the one trailing by a point, yet it's Walsh making the shots. Bernardino has to be the aggressor at this point. 1.15 to go in the third, and Walsh in front, four to three. As the stalemate call, and back to center circle they'll go. Barry Hosback, the official, being very conscious of how important the stalling call will be here, and he's made it. A good call, the last time he gave him a break with the stalemate. This time he calls it stalling against Paulsboro Wrestler. Walsh on top, keeping his opponent hooked, but it's Bernardino in on a leg. Walsh fights it off. Forty-five seconds to go in the third. Strong quarter Nelson put on by Walsh, keeping his opponent's head down, a chance to spin behind. Bernardino backs out. Keeps it, just a one-point deficit for himself. Bernardino has to attack now. He'll go out of bounds, 28 seconds to go. Bernardino's already had the stalling warning. And now it's Wolf shooting again. What Wolf can't do is make a silly shot here in the last 15 seconds of the bout and give a state championship away. He has to be a little conservative right now with just 10 to go. Takes that leg. That's why I say Bernardino almost had him. It's Walsh that can't make the mistake right now, and he has it. And we're out of time. The 125-pound champion for 1989, Tom Walsh of Paul the Sixth in Haddonfield. Final score of four to three. And we'll be back with more in a moment. There's a lot of pressure if you let, their, let the pressure get on you, but if you keep your cool and your poise, you should win. At what point in that six-minute bout did you feel that the championship was going to be yours? First period, he took me down. I, I got a neutral and took him down. 